Now, let us take this question to show the different methods in finding the LCM or least common multiple. The question is, what is the LCM of 6 and 9? I will show you how to get the LCM of 6 and 9 in three methods. We will start with the listing method. Hi, I'm Marifis Cho of Feel Korean TV. Welcome to our channel and enjoy watching the different videos and learning at the same time. Today, I will share to you how to find the least common multiple of two or more numbers using different methods. But before that, we must know first the meaning of multiple and least common multiple. In mathematics, the word multiple means the result when the numbers are multiplied or it is the product of the numbers. Like if we multiply 5 and 2, the answer is 10. 10 is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 5. And when we say least common multiple, it is the smallest number or multiple which is common to both given numbers. Now, let us take this question to show the different methods in finding the LCM or least common multiple. The question is, what is the LCM of 6 and 9? I will show you how to get the LCM of 6 and 9 in three methods. We will start with the listing method. In listing method, we are going to list the multiples of 6 and 9 until we find the common number or common multiple of the given numbers. Okay, like this. 6 and 9. Multiples of 6 is 6. That is 6 times 1, 6. Then 12. 6 times 2, 12. 18. 6 times 3, 18. 24. 6 times 4. And 30. 6 times 5. So we will write the first 5 multiples of 6. And then we will write also the multiples of 9. This is 9. 18. 27. Okay. So, I will stop now because there is a common number here. In 6 and 9, there is a common number. And this is what we call the least common multiple of 6 and 9. So, the LCM of 6 and 9 is 18. So, this is the listing method. We will proceed to the next, which is the prime factorization method. Okay, prime factorization. In prime factorization, we will get the prime factors of the given numbers. And then, we will multiply the prime factors to get the LCM. 6 and 9. Okay, factors of 6, 2 and 3, then 3 and 3. Okay, next step, multiply the prime factors. Two times three, three times three. There is a common prime factor. This is counted as 1. Counted as 1. Yung pair number. Common prime factor counted as 1. Then we will multiply all these prime factors. All. So multiply 2 times 3 times 3. The pair is counted as 1. Then 2 times 3 
6, 6 times 3, 18. So same answer as in the listing method. This method is a prime factorization method. The next method is the continuous division method. So in this method, we will just divide the given numbers by their prime factors. So 6 and 9, both divisible by 3. We will divide this by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, since 2 and 3 are all prime numbers, so we will not divide them anymore. And then, next is to multiply the prime divisor and the quotient of the given numbers. So, 3 times 2 times 3 equals 18. So, this is how continuous division is done to get the LCM. Three methods, but the same answer. Okay, let's have another example. The question is, what is the LCM of 3, 4, and 8? So, there are three given numbers. We will write the three numbers here. 3, 4, and 8. And then, list the multiples of given numbers. Multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. We will stop here. Then write also the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Then let's write the multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24. Okay. So, since there is 24 in, in 3 and 4, so we will stop here. As you can see, 24 is present to 3, 4, and 8. So, this is the LCM. Again, this is the listing method. Let's proceed to the prime factorization method. Prime factorization method like this, 3, 4, and 8. 3 is a prime number, so the factors are 1 and 3. This one, okay, prime factors of 4, 2 and 2, 2 times 2. Then 8 is 2 times 4. 4 is a composite. We need to get the prime factors. 2 times 2. Okay. So, next step, multiply the prime factors. Okay. These are the prime factors of each given number. There are two pairs of prime factors. Each pair is counted as 1. Counted as 1, counted as 1. So, we will multiply all the prime factors. But each pair is counted as 1. So, equals 1 times 2 times 2 times another 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and times 3. Then, let us answer. 1 times 2, 2. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. Same answer as in listing method. Okay. Let's proceed to another method. This is the fastest method that we can use in finding the LCM, the continuous division method. 3 times 
three, four, and eight. As you can see, three is a prime number. Four and eight are composite numbers. So this prime number, we will just write it down, three. And then these two numbers will be divided by their prime factor. The prime factor of 4 and 8 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay. Next. Another. So we will just write it down. Say again. Then get the prime factors of 2 and 4. The prime factor is 2. We will divide 2 and 4 by 2. 2 divided by 2. 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Okay, we cannot divide them anymore. So that's the end of our uh, division process. So we will go to the next step, which is to multiply the prime divisors and the final quotient. So multiply 2 times 2 times 3 times 1 times 2. We will multiply this all, all. Okay. And the answer and the answer is the LCM. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 3, 12. 12 times 1, 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Alright. So, same answer as in the listing method and in prime factorization method. We can use any of the methods in finding the LCM. But the fastest way is that continuous division. So I want you to master this uh, method because you can get that answer quickly. Next example. Find the LCM of 12, 15, and 30. This time, we will just use the continuous division method. So, let us answer. 12, 15, 30. Okay, let's think of a prime number that can divide 12, 15, and 30. The prime number that can divide these numbers is 3. You can apply the divisibility rule. Okay, 12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 30 divided by 3 is 10. Okay, next. Another prime number. Okay, 5 is a prime number, so we will just write it down. 4 and 10 are composite numbers and they have common prime factor. So we will divide 4 and 10 by their common prime factor, which is 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay. Then, next. 2, 5, 5. Since there are 2, 5 numbers, we can divide these numbers by their prime factor, which is 5. 5. 5 can be divided by 5. Prime number 2, just write it down. We will only divide the two numbers. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Okay. No more numbers to be divided. Prime number and special numbers. Next, multiply this. Multiply. The answer is 60. So, the LCM of 12, 15, and 30 is 60. Last example. Get the LCM of 5, 10, 20, and 40. So, we will get the LCM of these four numbers using continuous division method. So, we will write 5. 10, 20, 
40. Then, let's divide these numbers by their prime factor. We can apply the divisibility rule. 5 can be divided by 5 and the 3 numbers end in 0. Divisible by 5. So, we can divide these numbers by 5. 5 is a prime number. 5 divided by 5, 1. 10 divided by 5, 2. 20 divided by 5, 4. 40 divided by 5 equals 8. Next. Since this is a special number 1, just write it down. Then, the three numbers have a common prime factor. We will divide them by their common prime factor, which is 2. 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2, 2. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Another. 2 and 4 have a prime factor. So we will divide them by 2. Again, just write it down. Write it down. 2 divided by 2, 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Let's proceed to the next step, which is to multiply the prime divisors and final quotients. Forty. So, the LCM of 5, 10, 20, and 40 is 40. Okay. I have one more thing to add in getting the LCM. This is a technique. Like in this example, the LCM of 5, 10, 20, and 40. The technique is, if the biggest or largest number can be divided by other given numbers exactly, then the LCM is the biggest given number. Like this one. 40 can be divided by 20, 10, and 5. Exactly. Therefore, the LCM is 40. Even if you will not do any of the three methods, you can see it immediately. So, keep it in your mind that if the biggest number can be divided exactly by other given numbers, automatic, the LCM is the highest number. Now, I have a question for you to answer. Just write your answer in the comment box below. And surely, I will reply to you. The question is, what is the LCM of 9, 18, and 30? So you can use any method that you want to use. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy our lesson for today. See you in my next video and God bless.